Right now we are standing in front of the Nadi Valai Yantra or the Hemispherical Sundial. We are currently at the Uttar Gola segment of this Yantra. And as we can see, the axis of this Yantra is parallel to the nomen of the Brihat Samrat Yantra on the east and the Lagu Samrat Yantra on the west. What this means is that the axis of this Yantra is pointing at the North Celestial Pole. And this big dial that we see here, this 24 segmented dial is mounted on a plane which is parallel to the equator. What is the purpose of this Yantra? This Yantra is used for finding the hour angle of the sun, the declination, time of the day, as well as the fact that the sun, is, whether the sun is in the northern or the southern half of the celestial hemisphere. How this Yantra works? Let's have a closer look. Now we can see that this bigger dial here is divided into 24 hour segment and each hour segment is divided into 12 minor segments of 5 minutes each and each 5 minute segment is further subdivided into even smaller segment of 1 1 minute each. What this means is that the accuracy of this instrument comes down to 1 minute and now we must remember that during the course of a year, the sun goes its takes, as the sun undergoes its ecliptic journey, it stays in the northern celestial hemisphere for six months and it stays in the southern celestial hemisphere for six months. And as we just cross the autumn equinox, we notice that despite the presence of the sun in our east and despite this bright sunny day we are having right now, that the nomen of this instrument is not casting any shadow corresponding to the time, the local area time. Why is it so? It's precisely because the southern part of this instrument is in action. So let's go and check out the southern part of this instrument. So after having gone in detail about the northern segment of this yantra, we are here in the southern half segment of this yantra and as we can see that this yantra has a further subdivision which divides a day into 60 ghatis. Now this is a Vedic time division. Each ghati we can see, ghati we can see here, comprises of 24 minutes. So making, if you do the math, if you get our maths right, a day consists of 1440 minutes. So if you divide it by 24 ghatis, or which is one ghati, if you divide it by 24, how many ghatis we get? We get 60 which is precisely what is reflected here. So this is an additional time division which you see in this yantra. And now if we were to check the local time, we must always remember that all these yantras give the local time of this, which de entirely depends on the place of, in which we are taking the measurement. So we are right now located in Jaipur, which is about 27 degrees latitude, as you might have heard so many times. So here we are, so let us check the local time of Jaipur using this yantra. So as we can see, the local time right now, if you can see the pin head, shadow of cast by the pin, it corresponds to 919. So the local time right now is 919. So as we saw that the local time displayed by this, by the southern half of this dial is 9.19 a.m. or 9.20 a.m. Which corresponds to... After adding 18 minutes. Which corresponds to... 9.20 plus 18, which is 9.38. Which is the Indian standard time, the time which we see on our clocks. So another beautiful part of this instrument is that it can also be used to measure the declination. So be being right here at the equinox, if you look at the length of the shadow, we can see the shadow being cast all the way till here. But as the sun progresses away from the celestial equator towards the Capricorn or towards the winter solstice, you would notice the length of the shadow keeps getting shorter. So the sh length of the shadow will oscillate from here which is the equinox time, to all the way gradually decreasing, decreasing. Finally, at the winter solstice, if I were to check the same time 
if I were to check, if I were to be in this place at the same time, the length of the shadow would be this much. So using this, we can also measure the declination of the sun, and our angle, as we see, is precisely can be precisely measured using the Gatti division or the main segment division, as we can see here. And moreover, this instrument can also function in the moonlight. And now that would ex entirely depend on the brightness of the moon and the shadow that it ca casts using the spin on this dial. So I would say that we would be able to get a good reading on the upper half of this division, which is from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. when the moon is bright, which would be ideally from the, let's say, the Ashta, Ashtami of Krishna, Ashtami of Shukla Paksh to Ashtami of Krishna Paksh, when the moon is usually bright. We can also get the readings. And another extrapolation of this inference is that whatever planets we, which are very close to the moon, we can clearly see using the shadow that whether the moon or the planet lies in the northern half of the celestial hemisphere or on the southern half of the celestial hemisphere. So the Nadivalaya Yantra has an additional Vedic aspect. Marishiji added to every Yantra that Vedic influence. Now, in, as the name suggests, Nadi, it has something to do with the reading of the Nadi also. And that, by watching on the Vedic Observatory, this particular Yantra, it will shield off, it will offset the influences from outside and gives a more accurate reading of a patient's pulse by an accomplished idea. So that being said, we, it's time to wrap up with this beautiful yantra.